here in Ohio, people are asking how much impact a non-endorsement is going to have on Senator Sherrod Brown, who's in a very close race at, right now against Bernie Marino. A yeah, balance of power at stake here. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is here now with why Ohio's FOP is not taking sides in this showdown that could decide which political party, of course, controls that U.S. Senate, Todd. Yeah, there's a lot on the line, Mike and Sheree, no question. A tweet from three years ago could become a real thorn in Sherrod Brown's side. It's the primary reason the senator, who's been in Congress for almost two decades now, does not have the official stamp of support from Ohio's Fraternal Order of Police. And did not meet that 60% threshold. By a four-vote margin. So that's how close it was. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, a Democrat, failed to get the endorsement of the state's Fraternal Order of Police during the organization's annual conference in Columbus. Well, the FOP has endorsed Democrats in the recent past. They are this, this cycle, actually. So in that sense, it's significant that there's a non-endorsement. Rank and file members also decided not to endorse Brown's opponent, Republican Bernie Moreno. They're locked in a tight race. I think both candidates would have loved to have had the endorsement, obviously. We have a long history with Chair Brown. We've endorsed him in the past. Um, he's been a friend to law enforcement across the state for many years. But FOP spokesman Mike Weinman says the change this election cycle is tied to a tweet Brown made back in 2021. You know, there were some members that were concerned about that tweet and the impact of that tweet. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get Brown wrote about a case where a Columbus officer shot a 16-year-old girl who was holding a knife. The senator expressed frustration that the girl was killed. About a year later, a grand jury declined to indict the officer who pulled the trigger. We know what happens, you know, when you do make these comments, you know, that social media has just become a circus anymore. And, um... People will jump on there and, you know, people will start threatening officers' lives. The question now is what impact the lack of an endorsement will have on both Brown and Moreno. It may make a difference in terms of organizational support, that kind of thing. Uh, but, but generally speaking, organizational endorsements don't, don't mean what they did back in the 50s and 60s. Now, I reached out to campaign reps for both Brown and Marino. Brown's campaign said he'll keep working with the FOP and officers statewide to advance their priorities. A spokesperson for Marino said the lack of endorsement for Brown is, quote, another sign of his weakness this election cycle. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.